lovers. This is a meat side treatment tutorial by Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer. So we can separate the mono field from the stereo field in our music to treat these two signals independently and come up with some creative mixing techniques. Let me demonstrate this principle using a track from Trent Moller. We can visualize the spread of the signal across the mono and the stereo field using a vectoroscope. This is a free one from Flux called Stereo 2. Using utility in Ableton Live, you can separate both the stereo and the mono field. The width control at the bottom here will let you achieve that. Place it at 200 width and you got rid of the mono field. The vectorscope now only displays a horizontal line. Now place the width at 0% and you got rid of the stereo field and you're left with a vertical line on your vectorscope. Now how do we actually use this? I'm going to rack my utility. So I right click and I use the group function. Click on the chain icon to display the chain and command D to duplicate it. We have now two identical chains loaded with the same utility plugin. I'm going to place one of these utility at 200 width and call this chain the side. Obviously the other one is at zero width and it's going to be called the mid. If you save this rack you'll never have to create it again and it's going to come handy in many different situations trust me. So, let's listen to what we get. That's the normal full signal. But if I solo this chain, I only get the stereo field. If I solo that chain, I only get the mono field. I can now apply different processes to one or the other. Let me just go and grab a auto filter, for example, and just load that on the side. Let's just place it so we can clearly hear it, like so. Let's solo it first. And you can hear the filtering happening, but this filtering is not applied to the mid. Let's place both of them together now. And you can hear this lovely sweeping happening on the side of the mix, but not in the mid. If I were to place that auto filter on the mid, let's just reset it properly here. Listen to what happens. Interesting, but not as interesting as having it just on the mid, is it? So you see, truly some doors opening here. Let me just demonstrate with a classic drum beat here. Kick in hats. Now classically, you know, the kick can sometimes struggle to cut through the wall of sound you're playing over it. So let's place a pad first. So far the kick is still cutting through because the pad hasn't got many or any bass frequencies. Same goes with the choir here. So far so good. However, as soon as you raise the bass, the kick is going to start struggling. And the sub now is truly the issue. Now the kick, that's right, is now struggling to cut through that wall of sound. So if I were to place a sidechain compressor right behind all these four sounds. I would probably get a strong effect, but maybe not as subtle as I'd like it to be. Let's listen to it. I got my kick back, but everything is being pumped and that might be a little too much. So let's go and grab my mid-side treatment rack here and place it on this channel. So instead of having a filter this time, I'll just move my compressor to the side. So I'm pumping the side of the mix with the kick drum now. You can hear it pumped, but yet not the effect I'm after. However, if I place the compressor on the mid, now I got my kick back. You see, you can hear the mid being strongly side-chained. 
but the side is not side chained intact and this creates a much more subtle effect on my side chain and gives me my kickback now what we can also do is get a bit more creative with this so instead of placing a side chain compression let's just use a side chain gate and target the drums let's just use it full like so let's see what happens here let's just solo that so you hear the side of the mix being side chained and triggered like so starting to sound really interesting if I were to place that gate to the mid also very interesting depending on what you're trying to achieve let me place it behind the rack and sidechain the whole of the signal not exactly what I was after hey but on the side I really like it on the side yeah so you see you can get extremely creative you could place any object you want on the side or the mid to treat them differently and come up with some very interesting techniques. Now you know how to do it, go on and be creative. <laughs>